So this is a good time to get into the Black Wall Street Report. And here to talk about how to make some money <laughs> is a lady who is no stranger to the investment game. She is a former investment banker and the founder of Kids Who Bank, really dope organization that has financial literacy classes for young people in 137 schools nationwide. Please give your attention to the amazing Jitali B. What's going on, lady? Where you been? Oh, uh, I've been grinding. So this is the part of the year that I'm really going into the schools and doing our programs and our workshops. Nice. So almost every day this week has been that or meeting principals. And it's interesting because we're already lining up for next year, September school year. So from now, I'm bidding for contracts for next year as well. Wow. So it's just been kind of, you know, extremely fun and just um, hands on. So, so is this that time sometimes. of year if someone wants to do something in the school system for the next school year, this is the time when they should be pitching the schools? Wow. Definitely. Dang. I mean, springtime for me and my experience has been the time if you have a full program or curriculum that you want to put into the schools, this is the time to do it. Mm. Um, if you just have like an older day visit or anything like that, most schools have like an extra budget that they can tap into on the fly. So I can go in in March and say, hey, by May or June, can I come in, sign some books for your kids? Do you want to buy some of our books? That's one thing. Wow. But once you want to have a program, eight classes, five classes, whatever, and come into the school, you need to usually have it like months in advance. So right now, March, the school ends in June. So when I say months in advance, keeping in mind that the school year ends in June for most schools right. around the United States. That means you're pitching for September. Wow. Game, game, mm. game. All right, but that wasn't really your report. I was just asking you. <laughs> no. <laughs> what are we talking about today, Jitali? So today we're talking about the whole e-commerce rave. You know, a lot of people have been making money, millions here and there on the e-commerce trade. And I really think that it's important as investors that we know that, especially if you have a product, that that's one more, or if you have a good idea, or organizational skills, that's one more way that you can dive into the money world. So you ready? Yeah, always. So today we're going to talk about three ways to invest in e-commerce. For those who aren't too sure about what exactly is e-commerce, e-commerce is, to put it simply, the buying and selling of goods via the internet. So the first way I like to make money when it comes to e-commerce world is to have a platform which connects you to your buyers and sellers and have your product as a direct seller. So that's my favorite personally, because I have my own book. I'm an author of two books, Financial Literacy Book for Youth. So for me personally, and I also have my curriculum and certain things. So I can use platforms like Amazon and eBay to sell my books myself. I have the rights to my book. I've protected my books. Wow. And even when you sell on eBay and Amazon, there are different things that you can fill out to ensure that if somebody else tries to sell your product, you can protect it and they can, you know, have to pull it back down or you made sales, things of that nature. So me as a direct seller, I love it. One of my mentees, which is interesting that she's my mentee, last year she made 4.5 million on just e-commerce sales alone as a direct seller. What was she selling? Products. Name it. Everything from diabetes strips because she's in a medical field what? so this the things that she normally would have problems selling in her pharmacy she basically opened up an amazon account and started selling them online because her store started to see a low reduction of people physically coming in to purchase products for their issues like diabetes and certain things so anything that she could legally sell online since she already had the rights from the companies themselves to sell she was selling them on Amazon and she made, she basically is about to close her brick and mortar. Like she's seconds from closing her brick and mortar what? because she made so much money from Amazon. How online. long has she been doing that? This is her second year. So in her first year, she made 1.9 million. What? Um, and then this, her second year, she went to 4.5 million. What? So How big is her team? Her team? Yeah. Three people now? Oh my God. <laughs> 
on Amazon. You just put a light under my fire to be like, all right, Rakia, let's re-release yeah, your novel right. on Amazon. Let's go, because, uh-uh. But, you know, you have to have a product that you believe in right. that is going to, that you can pitch and have a plan. Mm-hmm. So she knew who her market was. You have to know who it is that you're selling to. You have to keep in mind what feeds Amazon have or whatever product base you use. If you're going to use Alibaba, Amazon, if you're going to use eBay, you have to know what their fees are and calculate that into your product sales. So if you're buying something at bulk pricing and then you're selling it at double, triple or 200 percent markup, you're going to make your money. Um, And then you just make competitors that you're selling it cheaper than your competitor, but high enough that you're making a profit. Um, and you don't want to cutthroat your competitors to the point that they're like coming at you aggressively with a company that's selling you their product as well. So Wow. Um, wow. Interesting. All right. What other tips you have? All right. So then the next thing is creating a platform that connects buyers and sellers and just receive a commission. So like, let's say you're great at marketing and you know that you are a marketing maven and you know, let's say for instance, you know that three people have their own products. Let's say Rakia, I can say, you know what, your clothing line is dope. I can help you pitch and sell that. Mm -hmm. Then I'll connect you to buyers and sellers. And then if I turn around and I say, hey, you also have uh, toys that you sell that are children-based and I'm Kids Who Bank and my brand now has 13,000 followers on social media, that's buying power. And those buyers and sellers, I can now be getting a commission where I create a platform where you're giving me a profit from every toy that you sell, I sell on your behalf. So that's another way that you can enter the e-commerce world. You don't have to have your own product if you're able to get a workout, a commission, or some kind of a deal with your team. Oh. And last tip is delivery. Yes, I said delivery, and delivery works and factors into e-commerce world as well. People forget about the fact that everyone in this world wants everything right now. They want to snap their finger, open their eyes, and their product is in their face. If they can get it the same day when they buy it online, they want to get it the same day. So I've noticed that there's been an upsell when it comes to the e-commerce world of people who are investing in delivery lines. So to give you an example, Zara. If I purchase something from Zara within one to two business days, it's at my house. And I remember like the guy pulled up to the house and he had like an unmarked van. He pulled out the van, he pulled out my product, puts it on my front lawn, takes a picture of the fact that he did it. And here I am like, what the hell? Like, who is this guy? This is not UPS. This is, you know, like, this is a person. Mm -hmm. And what's happening in the universe is that a lot of companies are just hiring delivery guys. So if you're willing to do the delivery runs, you can make a killing out in these streets, Mm. especially depending on doing specialty products. So now I found out about this one person who rented a a freezer truck. So Mm. people who want to get meat from, like, upstate New York from farms, he has his freezer truck, like a cold truck. He drives from upstate, brings them out, and he has delivery points that he delivers, wow. like fresh meat from, right straight from the farm. So if you can a market or a demographic of people who need your services as a delivery company, think outside of the box. It could be the craziest thing you never even thought about. Like somebody else I know decided to find contracts from hospitals to transport blood. How does that relate to e-commerce then? It relates because e-commerce is the buying and selling of goods via the internet. And right now, if you notice, the same way when people walk into a store, the reason why a lot of stores are shutting down, like Lord and Taters on 42nd Street or in Manhattan just shut down Mm. and it's turning into a weak workspace is because people are liking the convenience of two days receiving their items in within one to two days Mm. and not really having to pay $30 to get that item. And not wanting to go into the store. And not wanting to go into the store. So if you're telling somebody that your delivery firm is working with the online sales places and you're getting the product, are they going to pick up the product from you to get it to A to B and B to A? People are going to need your services. Wow. And it just goes with the flow of e-commerce because e-commerce is all about the internet wow. and cutting out the store. So you're helping to cut out the store and you're helping to compete with UPS. And it's probably not something that UPS wants to hear if they're listening to this podcast or anyone from their corporate. They're going to be like, this is not cool. She's giving away our secret. But guess what? It's what Zara and a lot of companies are doing right now. Wow. And it's something that in the e-commerce world makes you gold. It makes you golden. 
Wow. So those- really dope. So, wow. Wow. Jitali B with the investment tips and the hustle tips and the money making tips on how you can really invest and find other streams of income. It's a beautiful thing. Thanks, Jitali. You're welcome. Wait, and where can people contact you? Give your info. Oh, yeah. Info at Kids Who Bank if you want to email me or visit our website, www.kidswhobank.org or .com, whichever. Both will reach you back to Kids Who Bank or social media. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, The Works. Thanks, girl. I appreciate that.